So today we have a very interesting topic, and this topic is the games that Ukrainian women play. I'll call Alex an expert. Not <laughs> on the games of the women, because <laughs> women are women, so they will never be like us men. And sometimes women don't understand themselves even, so how can we men understand them, right? <laughs> so, uh, this session is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have here two sides to speak about. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think is a common um, misconception of foreign men when they come to Ukraine? Are Ukrainian women are really that naive and simple and easy? Uh, because sometimes that's what American men think, and then, um, well, they find not the result they want. Well, uh, uh, to explain you that, I, it, I think it would be interesting to go back a little bit to cultural reasons mm -hmm. about what make the Slavic women make or play the so-called games. Uh, we in Ukraine and in Soviet Union, Slavic women, okay, uh, what is the social uh, stratus? Here, women, they compete with women, not with men. And on the beginning, 14 years ago, when I came here, I had a several cultural shock because at that time I was... Uh, making 40 years of age, so, and I am an old European guy, so when I came, things were really complicated. And I came without having any kind of marking, bombing on me, as it happened to the majority of our audience at this time. Most likely all of you guys are based in the United States, and unfortunately the marketing make you believe that Ukrainian women are easier than any other one. Mm -hmm. They are not, because they are women. <laughs> so they are difficult in any place. But back to the core of, the, of the, the case is that in a society where men are men and women are women, and they do not want to confuse the roles in the household, women want to be women and men want to be men. So they have completely different tasks on the household. And obviously, if the men have the power and the money and make most of the decisions, and the women are happy to follow, they will do everything to make their men, the head of the family, happy. Because somehow, on a cruel way speaking, they live at his expenses somehow. They are happy to do that and they are happy to submit themselves to that lifestyle mm -hmm. if he is the man that they really love, they respect and see that they are uh, also respected by the men. So competition is very high. We can break immediately here meet. It's not because there are many women. They are 52% of women for 48% of men on uh, age between 20 to 40. So when we go older, obviously the life expectation of men is much lower. So there are more widows. But those widows, none of us want to date them. So when the number of women are bigger, it means that they are out of the market, a sort of speech for us men foreigners that search for a foreign wife. So when the women compete, of course, the rules of the game are very uh, tight and very hard because what these women have the most as the bigger weapon on this competitive world sort of speech is their beauty. So the beauty of any Slavic woman is the best she has to attract the right male, the right husband, the right mm -hmm head of the family, the right father for the future kids. So they will do many things to captivate the attention of these men. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the beginning, I had uh, several uh, lessons 
that uh, was that the cultural shock that I told that I felt. I remember once to be on the club and uh, as usual, we have tables with women and tables with men and the men are more interested on conversations, men's talk, guys talk, and the women are there on their women's talk. But to reach the moment that the man wants to call attention to the woman and invite the woman to the table. And I remember to watch this scene going on. And like, it's something that we can see even today. And uh, the man say, hey, you girl, come here, have a drink with us. And this was already at the end of the night. And at the end of the night, uh, it's like nobody's going to find the girl to take out uh, after oh, missing one hour to close the club. But still, she accepted and went to the table and stayed there with them. I knew this girl, and on the next day, I went to her, and I put my empirical old man hmm. yeah. question. And I asked her, why did you accept to go start a conversation one hour before closing the club with men that were already half drunk? And now listen to this. The reply that I had was, if I would not do it, I would be stupid. <laughs> and my brains at that moment just tied up and I could not decode this. And, and I asked, but why stupid? It's like, why don't you say to him, like, I was here all night and now that the club is going to close, you want to invite me to have a couple of drinks, maybe I get tipsy, maybe I get happy and I go out with you from the club. Mm -hmm. And she looked to me with a very surprised look and said like, do you think that a woman can go and teach a man? I said, no, it's normal, which teach a man? You just put him on his place. It's no, as I told you, I would be stupid. It's but how stupid? Because see this way, if he invited me, I was the elected one. And if I would, as you say to me, refuse, my other friend girls at the table, any of them would be invited after I refuse and they would accept. And worst comes the lesson. They would call me stupid because I lost the chance. So do you see guys the competitive environment that goes on this scenario? So, and this speaks loud and a lot. And this is what is a Slavic woman. They fight for the men no matter what. Of course, they have many tricks. They have many charming, many enchantments because they really have it and they fight for that. That's their main goal in life is to be presentable above the female neighbor and open to captivate the attention of the future household provider, husband, and father of the kids. This is how it works. It may look primitive, but let's think about this. Why we came here? Because back there in old Europe, back there in the United States, women want to be men. They want to make the same as we do. They want to make um, the same money or even more. And here they don't want. But like every other coin have two sides. If you want to have a wife that have the same values as your grandmother, or, or your mother even, those that stay home and take care about the family and the man brings the money in, that has a cost. And that cost is obviously to play the role of the man. Well, I am amazed because I'm starting to forget this stuff. Alex is talking and I'm from Ukraine and listening to this. You are in the United States for long already. Yes. No, that is very true. I'm forgetting, uh, I had to actually go back in my memories because when Alex, you start talking, I was like, what is he talking about? I even, like, this is not happening, but actually... Can, can, you, can you confess here to us that when you were here, what I'm saying makes sense to you? Yes, absolutely. Uh, especially, I didn't really go to clubs this summer because I just had no interest because... No, the things... club was an example of social things. Ab Absolutely, absolutely. And I had times, you know, before uh, moving to US, you know, when I was um, in school and I went out, I'm from Kiev, Ukraine, and 
th those experiences are somewhere back in my memory and i actually remember feeling uh some kind of almost pain because i would go to clubs and sometimes it would be a great time people would just dance and socialize there would be a lot of foreign men but it was friendly and flirty but sometimes i would go to clubs where would be some men that would be perceived as they are wealthy or rich, so to speak. And there would be girls literally um, competing for their attention. And it was very unpleasant. I've never enjoyed it because I feel that uh, I'm sort of old school. And I, in some way, I believe that it's a lot better when men pursuing you uh, than you just naturally because he attracted he he is choosing you and he's pursuing you and you're not the one desperate try to you know put a bikini on or dance on the table to just grab his attention but it's true that there's so much competition and some women i think they even are overdoing it 